Well, most kids and many adults would love to have a robot, but for kids with cerebral palsy, a special robot created by local researchers could in fact be a game changer. Yeah, a team from Georgia State and Georgia Tech has been developing the robot for four years now. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with their story. Beth? And today in rest, this robot looks like a toy, like something a kid would get under a Christmas tree, but he actually acts like kind of a coach because he's programmed to help make physical therapy more effective and hopefully more entertaining for kids with CP. 12-year-old Jamie McWhorter doesn't seem to mind being coached by a slightly bossy, giant-eyed robot. And that's a good thing because the Decula middle schooler has cerebral palsy, a movement disorder that makes it hard for him to control his arms and legs. But if he doesn't practice moving his muscles... He'd be stiff all the time, so... Um, we just need as much therapy as we can. So the robot is programmed to be kind of a movement coach. Georgia State University associate professor and researcher Yu Ping Chen, who is an expert in physical therapy, says movement is really important for people with cerebral palsy. And that's because our brains have plasticity, meaning they can change and rewire themselves. But to develop better motor skills and muscle control, Ping says children with CP need to repeat the same movements hundreds, if not thousands, of times. It's like working out, she says. Adults understand if they want to get stronger and better at a sport, they have to put in the time and practice. But for kids, it's boring. It's really boring to repeat doing the exercise again, again, again. Nobody wants to do it. So that's why you need to have something to encourage him, to motivate him to do it. And that's where the robot comes in. He's commercially available, but has been programmed by a robotics expert at Georgia Tech, who's created a platform specifically for kids like JB with movement disorders. So he's kind of served as more like the playmate, play with the child. So give child some kind of encouragement, kind of like give him some direction, how to move faster, better. So a robot tell him, JB, good job. He feel happy. He feel excited. He feel motivated. I like it because I don't have to tell him what to do, of course. It's kind of like a game for him. The team's been working on this robot for about four years now, and it's still a bit of a work in progress with its share of kinks. But the GSU Tech researchers hope this could give kids like JB a better, maybe even more fun way to build their motor skills and muscle control. I think nowadays the kids really are high tech. He knows the technology. So to have a robot instead of a therapist or instead of mom or daddy talking to him, say, JB, you have to do it. Is no way. And JB seems to like this robot slash coach slash cheerleader just fine. And you notice that the robot is coaching, but he's also recording information through a video camera in his eyes. And that video gives researchers feedback on what's working and what's not working during these physical therapy sessions. So Russ and Sine, they call him, I'm referring to the robot as him, and that's because they call him him. All right. It makes everything like a game. So yeah, and he looked like he was having a good time. Yeah, the yeah. smile on JB's face yeah. really says it all, doesn't it? It does. Thanks, Beth.